Good morning, GMS. I'm Lizzie Metzger. And I'm Alex Connor. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of October 5th. Remember, if you're out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all of your assignments on Canvas. They can also email their teacher with specific questions. Make sure to check their work. With the latest start to school year, four days have been designated as e-learning makeup days at GMS. Two of these days will be in fall break on Monday, October 12th and Tuesday, October 13th. Make sure you check into Canvas on those days and complete your work. Attention GMS students, if you are going on a vacation, be sure that you, your parents have sent in a letter a week ahead showing that you are leaving. Make sure you don't forget. As a part of our back to school plan, all GMS students are required to wear a face mask over their nose and mouth. This includes in the hallways and the classrooms. Also make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask even when you, when you go to any sporting events, even in the bathroom. The 2020-2021 GMS yearbooks are now on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. It's the cheapest way to get a legal picture of Mr. Reinhardt. Remember to charge your computer every day once you get home and make sure to put it in your book bag every morning you need your computer for school. A healthy school environment starts at home. We ask that you use the parent screening information posted on GMS homepage as your guide. Students, make sure to tell your parents no when you aren't feeling well. Finally, if you are leaving early for an appointment, don't forget to bring a note in to school. That shows you are leaving early. Now let's go to the interview of the week top trending in the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Uh, welcome to the interview of the week. I'm Claire Train here with the sixth grade special education instructor, Ms. Cooper. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing good. So, Ms. Cooper, would you like to start us off by telling us a little bit about yourself? So, my name is Mrs. Cooper, and I have three kids. Um, they're 28, 21, and 19. Uh, I've been in Greenwood for about 10 years now, and at the middle school for seven, seven years. What has been your favorite part of the school year so far and why? My favorite part this year is just being back in the building. I was ready to come back. I was ready to be with kids. I was ready to see faces. I missed all that at the end of the year last year. Why did you choose to become a sixth grade special education teacher? <laughs> I like sixth grade. I like the fact that when they come in, they are still young and you can watch them grow up and mature to become seventh graders and they become more independent. So, and I just chose special ed because I like the challenge. Interesting. If you were a school teacher, what other profession would you like to work? I don't know. I've never wanted to do anything but be a school teacher. This is all I ever wanted to do since I was little and I've never really thought about trying to do anything else. What was your favorite and least favorite part about e-learning? We'll start with my least favorite part was just being away from everybody, sitting at home, not seeing kids. Last year I was teaching the Quest program, so it was really hard to not get to see those kids every day and be around them. And they can be so funny and so much fun that it was hard just sitting at home and trying to see them on a video. I guess my favorite part would have been not having to commute. I drive 25 miles here every day, so the commute was kind of nice just to get up and go to my living room. What are some things you like to do in your spare time? I like to read, um, I like to crochet, and I do a lot of spin classes at the gym. That's what I do. Interesting. Thank you for coming to our show. Have a great day. Thank you. You have a good day. Thanks. Hello and welcome to Top Trending, where we discuss the latest trends of the week. I am Brooke Hunter and let's start with number three. The presidential debate happened last week between President Trump and Joe Biden. The debate quickly turned south as both men repeatedly interrupt one another and talked over each other. Many viewers struggled to understand what was being said, what could be changed so the next debate operates a little more smoothly. Number two, 
Was this the best lockdown ever? A man in the United Kingdom was clearing out his garage and he found an antique Chinese wine vessel. The vessel, which resembled a teapot, was believed to be in his family for generations and brought into the country from China by his past family members. It was decided to put the vessel up for auction and the auction house guessed it was worth $25,000 to $30,000. When the auction ended, he took home $500,000 from the sale. If you found a rare antique like this, would you sell it or keep it in the family? Google satellite images show what appears to be a robot figure at the military base, Area 51. Nobody knows for sure what the figure really is. However, with Area 51 shrouded in mystery, this image has only gained popularity as many wonder what it could truly be. Is this secret? Is this a secret weapon or something far more innocent? How would you feel about skyscraper-sized robots fighting to protect America? That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, everyone. This is GMS Sports, and I'm Isaac Bemis. On Thursday, October 8th, boys football 7th and 8th grade will play away at Franklin starting at 5.30. That's all for sports. Have a great week.